this video, we're going to look at a Flask app that is going to have uh, two routes and it's going to use templates. It's going to use a layout, things we've done before. It's going to do a redirect from the default route. But the new stuff is it's going to read a JSON file. Now we've done that before, but we're going to do it in a somewhat more flasky way rather than, a, I think the last time we did it more just a Python way. And we're going to show images on the web pages um, and, and images where that are, the image files are coming from the JSON data. So that's what we want to see. I have, uh, I'm in the Flask demos folder. I want to move it into, so I'm typing at the bottom in the terminal CDB and B. I'm getting to the uh, virtual environment folder, and then I'm going to activate. That's in scripts slash activate. That's the PowerShell version. And then I want to start, that's not what I wanted to do, undo. I want to set, I have a number of apps. I want to set this current one where I'm showing images that are in static as the one of this is that I want to show. And then in case I do any debugging, I'll set that constant or that uh, environment variable, I should say, to uh, true, then I want to be able to debug. And then finally, I'm going to run. This can be done a different way, but I like to do it command line or terminal. Uh, control click. And here is the first route. So it, we moved from the default route automatically. We were redirected to the first route. It has this navigation from the first page to the second page. So that we've seen before. But here is the new stuff. There is more data sent to this first page that includes information about coffees and includes uh, images and I'm I have all the images twice because I want to show you just like two slightly different ways of dealing with the sort of the file the underlying file structure okay so that's that's the main thing that in terms of visually what's new is on this first route and it's this additional information that's coming from a JSON file and displaying images and both the data and the images are going to be placed in subdirectories of the static folder. Okay, so let's have a look here. So I'm reading some JSON, so I brought that in. I have to sort of position myself to the right um, JSON file as I'm reading it here in the Python. So I have uh, an OS import, I'm bringing in Flask, uh, render template uh, URL for and redirect, setting up an app. And here I'm playing with the, the OS uh, import, but I'm doing it differently than I did when we were doing it a more Python way. So here I'm using, you see here in, the, in this os.path.join, I'm using app.static underscore folder. So static is sort of a standard folder in, in a Flask app. And there is this method that knows this function that knows or finds out where the static folder is. So that's sort of a standard built-in thing. Then I have, let's look at said static folder that is here. And I have, I'm looking for the uh, Starbucks under, or dot JSON, and that's here under data. So I'm joining the, the static folder. So I'm using the Flask knows where static is, and then the data subfolder, and then the file within. So that's this putting it all together. 
again, so we've read JSON before, but we did it more based on where the Python file was and going from there. But this time we are saying, uh, get me that static folder. So this is just more of a flasky way to do it. And then, then we, here we are opening that uh, JSON file and then uh, loading that JSON file. So this is, so Starbucks data is now that sort of parsed out uh, JSON that is in Starbucks. So let's have a peek at Starbucks. It is uh, an object, uh, if I'm using JavaScript, is JSON is JavaScript object notation. So if I'm talking about uh, JSON, if I'm using the JavaScript, I'll say that this is an object, has a property sizes, sizes is an array, um, and this is the sizes of the drink. Then there's another uh, property drinks, and that's an array, and it's an array of uh, objects. And then if I'm using my uh, Python, you know, vocabulary, then I would say that this is a dictionary and there's a property uh, drinks and it, it has a list of other dictionaries. So that's what the file, so we have read the file, we know what the file looks like. It is the, the sort of the topmost thing is not an array not a list. So we have to be careful when it comes time to loop and we're looping over the thing which can be looped over. Okay. Uh, we've seen this before. The default route is being redirected. We wanted to have some nice navigation and the default route uh, was a little bit problematic. So we're just uh, redirecting it to the first route. The first route uh, Here's the file I'm going to first with nav and images, and I'm passing it some data with it, which just says Fred and Dancer, and the title is the first one. And then here is, in addition, I'm sending it the this new JSON data, the Starbucks data. And so Starbucks data is what we read in here in this Python file, but once we get over to first with nav and images.html, it will be referred to as coffee because that's that's the name that we're giving it as we send it. And then there's a second route and the second route hasn't changed. Okay, so the when we're sending the information, we don't have to send the, the same number of things. There doesn't have to be, uh, you know, this had... In addition to the file, it had pass one title and coffee. This one just has pass two and title. So they can have different names. They, they can be a different number. They can have different signatures. They're gonna be a different number of things. Okay. So that was the, the Python, the Flask part. Uh, and what was new there was reading the JSON file in a more flask oriented way with this uh, path join and this app uh, dot static underscore folder. And this is just standard JSON reading. And then we sent that information to one of the, as to render template in one of the routes. Okay, so now let's look at in templates. Here is first with nav and images. And it's still going to the layout with navigation. Here's a place, here's us announcing that there is a block. And this is coordinating with the layout. The, the layout has a block called title. And then this is telling us what to do when this page is marrying to the layout find the block called title and put the title that was sent uh, from, from Python, send that over, use that here. Here's the, there's another thing in the, the layout called uh, a block called stuff. And this is what we wanna do for that block. 
uh, show me the first name, show me the occupation, and then here is my loop. So coffee was what was sent over. Again, we're calling it coffee. When it got sent over, it was called coffee. Coffee is not the list, not the array. Coffee.drinks is. So it's coffee.drinks here. And then that is a, a list. So we're using Jinja here, and we're doing a, a Jinja for loop. And then uh, we give the, the element of the uh, iteration a name, and I called it drink. We could have called it item. We could have called it thing. Could have called it anything. Um, but coffee was the name that was sent over, and drinks is a property that we know from the JSON file. So this has to match the name here that was sent over. Drinks must match something that was in the JSON file. And then a drink here is just a dummy name. But then down here, we have to know the properties that the elements have. So here, those objects in the drinks array or list have properties, drink name, drink calorie. So I use the drink name and I'll use at some point the drink image. So I'm just showing here in the header, the drink name. There it is, Cafe Americano. And then I'm getting the image. I'm displaying the image. So I'm writing the HTML for an image element. And then the uh, the source. So I'm doing I'm doing the this image element twice because I just want to show you two different ways to access the source. And where are these images? They are also I put them in the static in the images folder. So there are those images, those JPEGs lined up in the images folder and it's under the static folder. So in this first version here, I did a slash. This is this is um on a web page. This is a page that's being served, served by a by a web server. And so the slash is referring to the like the website's home or root. And then uh then there was a static and under that there was a static subdirectory and under that an images subdirectory of the static directory and then the uh drink underscore image so drink was my dummy name of my loop and but it had a property dot drink underscore image and that's in curly curlies because that is a data that is coming over uh the, so that's ginger's way of you know reporting data in curly curly. So the ginger, the ginger uh, control structure, it tends to be curly percent. The ginger data is curly curly. And this one was starting with a slash and the starting with a slash, it, it's the slash of the web server, not, not the computer you're on, but the web server you're on or the web, the web service that you're, the web page that you are, or website that you are serving. And then you have to go from there. Okay, underscore static, underscore image. This second version I have here on line 21 of my code, I don't start with a slash. So I'm sort of working in the current file system. So image is in HTML. So I, I'm in an HTML file, and which is in static. And under templates, here are the HTML things. So templates is um, at the same level as static. So I'm here, I don't start with a slash. So I am where this HTML is, which is in templates. So that dot dot means to come up out of there, come up to the parent uh, folder. And then I can go down into static, into images, and then get the drink image file. So just two different ways of doing it. If I start with a slash, I start with the root. If I don't start with the slash, I can, in, um, I need to get to the same place. So I do a dot dot to move up out of where I am to the parent and then down. So I can um, do it either way. You saw that it was 
both were producing a set of images. Okay, did I do anything else? Uh, route two, that was route one. Route two was no different than it was before. The layout was no different from the, the, what it was before. The It had the... Uh, the navigation allowing us to go back and forth between the sites. And I guess the only tiny little thing I did in addition was under static, under the, uh, I added to the uh, CSS uh, some image styling. So I image, I put a gave a styling to uh, all image elements and made them a height of 150 pixels. You know, if I wanted to uh, style them differently, I could put them in a container and style them as images in a certain container, or I could put give them all a class and style that class. So uh, these are the only images I have on the page. So I just styled it simply by the, the image element. Okay, that's what I wanted to show you. So the two new things were uh, working with Jason, which was not new, we've seen that before, but we are working in, especially here, app.static underscore folder in a more Flask way to, to access that local JSON data. And the other thing was to work with, and that, infor, and that JSON information got passed uh, over to the web page and the template. And then uh, the other thing we were doing was working with that information so looping over so that the coffee was the json is not uh directly a, a list but the drink property was a list so that's what we can loop over and then just showing you two different ways of dealing with the folder structure starting with the slash or starting with the dot dot just two ways to get to the same place and, Okay, that's what I wanted to show you on this one. Thanks for your attention.